I'm Miranda Seuss, photographer in New York City and Jersey City. I shoot uh, boudoir photos. Oh my god, probably the only French word that I know how to say, boudoir. So I'm going to show you what's my bag, where to pack. I'm actually on my way to a boudoir photo shoot at someone's house. It's their own home. Usually we run out of space like a hotel room in New York City, but this time we're doing it at their house, so this is what I'm going to bring. First off, I got some champagne bubbly, so I show up about 45 minutes to an hour early to set up all my gear and have them start sipping on some champagne before the shoot to calm some nerves. And so I have that with me. Another way to calm nerves is that they have the music playlist already set uh, on their phone and they can connect it to my Bluetooth speaker for the photo shoot. So two ways I make them feel comfortable before the session. And now let's talk about what I bring. And then this is the magic box here. Now, this is all set for like wedding days, so I don't really need everything in this. I'm probably gonna bring it all with me because I like backup on backup and it's just easy since I already have everything, but here's some key things that I'm bringing. Now, what I'm recording on is a Nikon V6 II. It's a mirrorless camera. Normally I bring this with me to shoots, but today I figured I can work with my full frame uh, 750. So that's this camera body here and I have just a hand grip, and I also have a, an attachment, hi Marty, um, an attachment to hook onto my belt. Speaking of belt, I need to find that. You know what, I actually think it's in the car, in the trunk of the car. So I uh, won't need the belt anyway, just since we're doing it at someone's house, I'm not like, at a wedding day where I need to constantly um, take my camera off my hip. And usually I bring two cameras with me to shoot, but this shoot I'm only going to bring one and then multiple lenses with me. Anyway, so I have my 750 here, I have my 35mm, I also like my 85mm, both of them are 1.4 lenses, uh, and that's all Nikon. Uh, another thing that I'm going to need for a boudoir session is these triggers. They, they trigger my flash. Ta-da! Um, I like to use window light a lot, but sometimes to get super creative, I like to use off-camera flash to really do some creative, like, uh, almost like carving out the body uh, in, like, backlit situations or side-lit situations, things like that. So I bring that. I also have a 105mm that I'll bring, and then some different diffusers I have in here, or the Mag Mods. I love Mag Mods. And they look like boobs. And they diffuse the light. I don't need all of these. Like I said, it's a wedding day. It's only this one. Uh, but I'm going to keep it to keep it you know, organized. Okay, in here is the Octobox 24 inch. And here is the Magma diffuser, focus diffuser for the Octobox. Because there's softbox and then the di focus diffuser option. Focus diffuser, it really focuses the light. Uh, a lot more on the subject versus the softbox that kind of lights up the entire area. And I use an 8200 80 as my flash, it's my favorite. Then I have my backup um, SD5000 by Nikon. Okay, so I have a stand that fits beautifully in here. And then in here are more 8200. You got the dual uh, flash holders, the mag grip, the, the softbox uh, magnetized thing here, and then I'm going to add this guy in there as well. You'll have to also make sure before you go to shoots that you have all the SD cards. I like to format mine in advance and make sure batteries are all charged. There's battery in here. Turn it on. Obviously, it's empty. There's no SD cards. Let's do that. So I like, mine has a dual slot in my 750. So I'll put two of the 300 MB slash S. I think it means megabytes per second. But the 300 is the fastest uh, Extreme Pro SD cards I use. 64 gigs in each. Should last me for the entire shoot. Let's format those cards. And then I'll figure out white balance and all that stuff when I get there on site. I don't need to do that in advance. Um, the lens looks pretty clean, but I can dust that off with my lens cleaner that I love. It's like probably.
only ten dollars or less at any camera store you can get this at. Peasy and lemon squeezy. So let's go to this wood wall session. And I won't be able to show the behind the scenes of this because they want it private. But I am ready to go. Let's do this thing. Hopefully this helps you with your first boudoir shoot or you're kind of curious what I bring to my boudoir shoots. Very basic stuff. Two camera bodies, a couple lenses, one, uh, both of them prime. We got champagne, uh, Bluetooth speaker flashes and uh, diffusing kit for the flashes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Peace out. Good luck with your first boudoir shoot or all your boudoir shoots that you do now and enjoy. Bye.